That's why I don't trust women. Because they, 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 they so daggone calm, cool, and collective that they can do that type of thing. Really when I perpetrate, because this 38 will be designated for all those that hate it like a chest. Man, I don't contemplate it. Your moves, you lose, man, your hot, you gave me new moves. More dudes, not the top, you made me same rules, new food, not a budget. Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back. I am Van, and we are all the LFR family. And if you're not already with the LFR family, I'm going to need for you to hit that subscribe button right there, Jack. Go on, hit that thing. Hey. I never realized I said LFR family so much. I say it so daggone much. Sheesh. We're about to check out Chris Rock funny racist jokes. His the first part of his funny racist. God damn, how many funny funny racist jokes he got? He got a part one and a part two. Alright, so we're gonna check this joint out. See what it's about. Don't forget to comment below, like, share this video, and look in the descriptions. Um, very first links. LFR Naya and LFR Jojo, my son and my daughter, they both have a YouTube channel and I'm extremely proud of them. I would love for you to check their channels out. Let me know what y'all think. All right, let's not waste any more time. Let's do it. So, I do a lot of racial humor, I do a lot of racial humor. You know why? I was bused to school when I was a kid. Very hard being bused, man. Had to get up every morning at six o'clock in the morning to go to school and compete with white kids that didn't have to wake up until eight. <laughs> and that's not fair. No, sir, you're a lower mark in a test. I got a teacher going, oh, Chris can't read. I'm like, no, Chris is fucking tired. Right? <laughs> well, Chris is effing tired. <laughs> I love the way he cuts, man. He's one of the best cussing comedians in the business. I love the way he cuss, like the way he hit them. He, he, like he hit it with a, like y'all hear it. The other crazy thing is, people talk about being bused to school. I got bused to school. Like you're supposed to get bused to school to go to a better neighborhood and get a better education and all that shit. I got bused to school into a poor white neighborhood. <laughs> a neighborhood worse than the one I lived in. Everybody's scared of black people. Everybody's scared of Puerto Ricans. Yo. Ain't nothing scarier than poor white people. <laughs> Even white people are scared of poor white people. <laughs> hey, keep no white people away from us. Yo, these mother, they live under the trailer home, right? They weren't white trash, they're like white toxic waste. Oh my God, bro. Oh my God, bro. Oh man, oh man. All right, all right, all right, okay. A bunch of shaggy from Scooby-Doo looking people. That's who I went to school with. And they hated my guts. They hated me. They, Cause my family had more money than them. We, we didn't even have money, but we had more money than them. And right then I learned my lesson, boy. Nothing that a white guy with a pity hates more than a nigga with a nickel. <laughs> White guy with a penny hate more than a nigga with a nickel. Get the hell out of here, man. Somebody old school, one of his old uncles or grandparents or somebody like that had to tell him that. Like, how do you think of that, man? How do you think of that? Nothing. A white person with a penny hate more than a nigga with a nickel. Oh, my gracious. That's, that's funny to me. All right. women here. That's good. I like women. My mother's a woman. That helps. <laughs> yeah. Women got Women control the whole thing, man. Women, women control. Women They're control so everything, bro. Cool. Women have male friends. Women have male friends, platonic friends. What the fuck is that shit about? That's like the biggest scam in the world. No man ever looked at a woman and said, damn, she fine. Damn, she is so fine. She's so fine, I want to make her my friend. That is true. That's true. That is true, bruh. She's so fine, I want to make her my friend. Women are like, they will have platonic, they will have 10 platonic friends. And nothing. Can a guy have some women friends? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Women are cool. This is how cool women are. A woman can walk in a party with her man. There'll be four guys in a party that she fucked. And it will not phase her one bit. She will introduce her man to every one of those guys. 
back to his neck. And that's why I don't trust women. Because they, 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 they so daggone calm, cool, and collected that they can do that type of thing. Why is it so... Hold on one second. Hold on one second. It's a bunch going on in my computer right now. There's a bunch going on in my computer right now. Yeah, there's a whole lot going on in my computer right now. I just want to cut some of this stuff off. Yeah, let me cut some of this stuff off. Yeah. He's absolutely right, man. Just a little sneaky-ass women. Women sneaky as hell, bro. Sneaky. Just sneaky as hell. Do it! <laughs> I want you to be Brad, and this is Kevin, and this is Mark, and this is Michael. They're all my friends. A man, if you're walking out of street with your woman, and you see a bitch you fucked in 1972, you will cross the street. Yep. That's how fly women are. Women are fly, boy. <laughs> women got it good, man. Women, got it so good. women always have two men in their lives, too. Always two. It's like the guy they're fucking and the guy they should be fucking. A lot of guys aren't laughing because they don't know which one they are right now. Wow, Chris. That's heavy, and who am I? And women, who are you fucking? Your man. That's right, your man. You and your man used to have a real relationship. Now you do is fuck. You and your man used to talk on the phone for hours. Couldn't get off the phone. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I miss you too. I miss you much. How much? Too much. That much. <laughs> Way too much. Ooh, I miss you. I miss you. I miss you. I miss you. <laughs> uh-huh. I miss you. I miss you. I miss you on a star. <laughs> to find out where you are. <laughs> I miss you on a star. I miss you. Oh, I miss you. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. It getting late, it getting late. Okay, okay, I gotta go to work tomorrow. Okay, 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 Good <laughs> I don't know, man. I like older women. I'm, I'm into older women, man. Not, you know, you know, not Wheezy Jefferson old. No, Just Jefferson. older than me. Cause young girls are full of shit. They like what they like. So I want them to be this tall, want his hair to be like this, want his eyes to be like this, want them to walk like this, talk like this, work here, all this bullshit that got nothing to do with hair and hair. Now you get an older woman, you get an older woman single, she's like, hey, I just want a man. <laughs> he got a dick and a job, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> Older women know the power of the pot. So 
they got all these shows on TV, Oprah and Sally Jesse and all this shit telling women how to get a man and all these books, how to get a man. Yo, women, you want to get a man? This is what you do. You put a pot on a stove. Every day at 6 o'clock, a man will show up to that pot. <laughs> A pot on a stove every day, not once a week, not twice a week, every fucking day at six o'clock. A man, men from miles around that you have never met will show up to that pot. But I got all this shit how to get a man. You dress like this and do your hair like this and walk like this and talk like this and sex this and sex that. Anybody can suck a dick. <laughs> But gravy's a whole nother story. Let me tell you something, bro. Making gravy is extremely, making good gravy is, is, is kind of difficult, man. It's a trick. You, it's a trick that you need with that, man. Like, you, you don't just roll out of bed and learn how to make gravy. You got to, that's through trial and error. Or somebody got to teach you how to make some gravy. That's, a, that's what I know. But well, I would take a sweet potato pie over a big ass any day. I will drop kick a girl for some banana pudding. Ice cold banana pudding, been sitting in the refrigerator all night. Get your ass. Why was this called? See, this was clickbait. This video was clickbait. It was, man. It was funny racist jokes. He only talked about racist sugar honey iced tea for the first minute and a half. I mean, yes, it was funny, but he only talked about racist stuff. And I was ready. I was sitting here ready to laugh at some racist stuff, man. That don't sound too good. Um... That don't sound too good. I can't take that back. <laughs> but I, I was, man. It, that's clickbait. But per usual, I want to hear what y'all got to say about this in the comments below. And if you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so on your way out the door. Uh, once again, guys, I am Van. Now we are all the LFR family. I look forward to seeing y'all on the next video and hopefully inside of the Patreon as well. Um, don't forget to like and share this video. And look in the descriptions below, you see the very first and second link, LFR9 and LFR JoJo, their YouTube channels. Please check them out. Let me know what y'all think. Until next time, love y'all. See ya. Peace out.